This is just going to be a quick update on a previous video. Okay, way back in September, beginning of September, you remember I had a video of Silver Moccasin? Now, we parked my car. We drove, actually drove all the way around the two. We parked my car over here, little uh, Vincent Gap. Then we drove back here, a guy named Richard, Richard Phillips. I'll put a link to his underneath in the details. Um, he was at, he's living out here from California, originally from Ohio or Idaho. I'm not sure, but it's running across the screen right in this area where he's from. And like I say, there's a link to him in the details. Go ahead and check him out, and you'll want to thank him after this. We parked his car over here. Now, uh, we were going to do the silver moccasin, which is comes all the way up here. Right here, it connects with the PCT. Takes the PCT over here, over Baden Pal, and down little Jimmy. PCT continues to Mexico. Here, the PCT continues to uh, Canada. But for this stretch of time, which was a day and a half, day and three quarters, um, they run parallel. Now, right in this, oh yeah, a guy named Wesley. Uh, uh, I'll put a link to him underneath. And one of his friends, his co-workers, this young girl, she went, they went with us too. They went with us from here at Baden Powell at night. Little Jimmy, they left us and went down to their car and took off. We continued. We did that in three days, which is pretty good. Now, when we came in there from uh, Baden Powell, we camped on top of Baden Powell. The next day, on the PCT, in this area, in between, in between Little Jimmy and Baden Powell, uh, about one third of the way, we took a break for a minute and uh, sat down. And I did a little filming while they were sitting down. Went to get back up, and Richard knows, hey, there's a camera right here. So we looked at the camera. It's a really nice, really expensive camera. It had, um, oh, what do you call it, with the satellite, it had uh, GPS, it had everything on it, R rather expensive camera. So we looked at it, we looked at the pictures, and the pictures were of the PCT. Somebody coming from Mexico to this point, all of their pictures, I believe there were 187 plus some video, all of the pictures were on there, so we knew immediately. Richard and I discussed it, and we knew immediately. We had to get that back into the hands of the owner because that's that's their story. They'll never do that again. And even if they do, it's not going to be the same way with the same people. So we posted a picture, and I will put that picture right in this area of the video, somewhere right in here. Okay, anyway, that picture, we posted that picture. Well, we posted that picture on Facebook and I made a video on YouTube asking for help locating this guy. And it you know, a guy contacted me. A guy actually phone called me. Whenever I meet somebody in the range and um, I'm talking to them, they want to possibly go hiking with me. In the future, I give them a card. I have business cards that uh, Google gave me. Now, backing up time, a little Jimmy one time, I had come in from Crystal Lake area, hiked a windy gap to little Jimmy. I was spending the night there in the snow in my Six Moons Gateway uh, Gateway Cape tarp shelter. I was going to spend the night in the snow. I get up there, and this Korean guy has a bunch of his friends that they're all cooking. He recognized me. He calls me over. I'm having dinner with the Koreans. Maybe about eight of them. In the middle of dinner... This other guy comes hiking past the PCT, and he looks over, and I hear him yell, Hey, Pharaoh! And he calls me over, and he goes, What are you doing hanging out with all those uh, Korean guys? I told him the story, and he goes, Hey, mind if I camp here with you? I said, No, not at all. Well, I gave him my business card. The next day, he moved on. He does sections. He's a section hiker. Well, he saw my video, because he's a subscriber of mine now. I'll put a link to him below if I can find it. I believe I'll be able to find it. I'll put a link to him below, too. Anyway, he called me and said, that he knows a website 
actually he knows a channel on YouTube, a group, that he can put it on there, on uh, Facebook, puts it on there, and it was the class of 2014 Pacific Coast, Pacific Crest Trail walkers, people who completed in 2014, we put it on there, a few days later, a woman contacted him, he contacted me, he connected us together, the, between the three of us, she got in contact with somebody who somewhere up this way, she had spent the night at the same Trail Angel's house as he and his friend one time. So she contacted his friend, his friend contacted him, he ends up living in Maine, where is my, well, that's where my mom is from. He ends up living way up in Maine, he contacts me, 11 days later, the camera was on route back to his possession. He since got it. He sent us some pictures and he gave me the okay for this. So I'm going to, right now, the power of, of the hiking community, YouTube, and Facebook put together, connected this guy back with his camera, which is an amazing story. But uh, I'm way late in putting this because I, I have chips and chips and chips of video I that I have to show edit. this and that we got the camera back to him. So this will end my talking part of it. The rest will be photos and uh, descriptions. So thanks for watching. If you follow me, that's the story. We got the camera back to the guy. Thank you for everybody. Mike LeBray, all you guys for, for searching YouTube and searching the groups and passing the photo around. Well done. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, and glad you got your camera, Matt guy. Merry Christmas.